Uh, Farid, it's day 78 of the Trump presidency. What changed last night? I think uh, Donald Trump became president of the United States. I think this was actually a big moment because um, candidate Trump had said that he would never get involved in the uh, Syrian civil war. He told President Obama, you cannot do this without the authorization of Congress. He seemed unconcerned with global norms. President Trump recognized that the president of the United States does have to act to enforce international norms, does have to have this broader moral and, and political purpose. President Trump realized, as every president has for many decades now, that presidents always believe they have inherent legal authority as commander-in-chief, and they don't need to go to a pesky Congress every time they want military force. It's entirely true that uh, candidate Trump felt differently. Candidate Obama felt differently than President Obama on these issues. So I think that what is interesting is even the way in which he justified uh, his actions, President Trump did. For the first time, really, as president, he talked about international norms, international rules, about America's role in enforcing justice in the world. It was the kind of rhetoric that we have come to expect from American presidents since Harry Truman, but it was the kind of rhetoric that President Trump had pointedly never used, either on the campaign trail nor in his inaugural. So I think there has been an interesting morphing and a kind of education of Donald Trump.